Austin is getting 20 microliters of uncut plasmid. And he's done. We are now loading the uncut plasmid into the tube. Austin is now taking the dye, about five microliters of the dye, and putting it into the eco re. He's going to mix it up and make sure that it's all combined together. Is it all it's good. Austin is taking five microliters of the dye and putting it into BSA1. By the way, we're all out of dye. <laughs> I don't think that's five milliliters. Just put it in. Just put it in. It's going to be on the video. Austin, don't push it to the bottom, though, it's not coming out. Is it all out? No, there's still some in there. Don't hit me with it. Should we refill this one? Austin's now taking five microliters of the dye and putting it into the Eco Re and BSA one combined together. You keep taking it back up here. We are now mixing the Eco Re. Eco Re, BSA one, and Eco Re and uncut plasmid in the center. Yeah. Centrifuge with the dye. Centrifuge with the dye. Where you putting the wells? Where you putting the wells? We are now loading the gel tray into the electrophysis machine. We are going to place the wells near the negative charge because DNA is negatively charged, so it will repel from the negative side and move to the positive side, which will, at the end of the experiment, show us the shortest and longest lengths of the DNA. Yeah, we just Okay. Winnie is now going to take the uh, DNA ladder and she's going to load 10 microliters of it into the second lane over in the gel tray. She's going to make sure that she first gets the tip all the way into the second well and then she's going to insert the DNA ladder. Now we got your ladder and die for me. Okay, so this is, no, this is technique time, okay? This is where things screw up, so be very careful. Now Winnie is going to load 20 microliters of the uncut plasma into the third well in the gel. Okay. <laughs> now Winnie is going to load 20 microliters of the Eco Re Digest with its mix of the dye into the fourth well. That one yeah. So go all the way in first. It's nice we match the dye to your fingernails. Make sure it goes the way in first. Wow. Make sure it goes all the way in first. Now Winnie is going to load 20 microliters of the BSA-1 digest mixed with the dye for the next well. She's going to insert it all the way in and then release the dye. Now Winnie is loading 20 microliters of the mixture of the Gobi, DSA, and the dye into the last well of the gel. Now Liz is going to close up the box and plug the electrodes into the control unit and plug it in. And she's going to turn it on set voltage um, 210 volts. Great. And so you got to plug it in. And then plug it in. Ooh. And she's going to let it run for 35 minutes. 
We are now going to take a picture of the DNA and see, using an X-ray machine, and see um, the length of the DNA strands. So yeah. We're just taking this, pictures first. This is the DNA. Okay, now you can't see. This is the DNA getting a X-ray picture of it. All right, take a picture of it. All right.